Hey you guys, Space Marine 658 here. Uh, we're going to be talking about optimizing your UI, specifically looking at when to use canvas panels and when not to. Um, so when we're kind of talking about canvas panels, a lot of beginners will make the mistake of basically using them everywhere and anywhere. Uh, a lot of that is just because of uh, a lot of the tutorials, you know, when they show you how to create something in the UI element, uh, that's what they show you is just using a canvas panel. Now here's the thing, canvas panels aren't inherently bad. Uh, they provide a lot of uh, really handy things that you can use and they also help make resizing things and, and make your UI fit your screens a little bit better. So of course there are definitely valid times to use them, but the problem is they're vastly overused in most tutorials, um, mostly due to the fact that they are extremely performance hungry. Um, so we're going to talk about you know, a few different ways you can reduce your usage and, and just how what is the most appropriate way to use them. So first, let's go off and take a look, actually, um, at my game here I've got up. In my UI um, section, I actually have something here um, that is part of my main menu. It's called my menu stack. Now, I'm co using Common UI. You may not have this if you're using just straight UMG. Um, but inside of Common UI, we use something called a menu stack. And here, at the lowest level of my UI, I have a canvas panel. And so what this does is this means that uh, this one single canvas panel is the only time um, in my UI that I actually load a canvas panel. The rest of it is all using things like overlays, size boxes, common borders, and when I pop them onto the stack here for common UI, um, or add to the viewport if you're just using regular UMG, basically um, it, it basically loads them onto the canvas panel, but there's no additional canvas panels. And the nice thing is, when I deactivate this widget, it deactivates all of my UI, and it means that I only ever have the one canvas panel at any one time. Now, that is very important in that canvas panels are extremely hungry, so what do you do instead? What do you replace them with? Well, depending on what you're doing, there's a few different options. So for example here, a pretty complicated UI setup here. Um, this is my Missile Builder UI that I'm working on, and at its very core is an activatable widget. Um, and so with that, I just have it set to have an overlay. The overlay wraps everything. This is overlay is just set as the base layer. Um, it doesn't really have anything in it. It's very cheap to render because it's doing nothing but storing basically all the other UI elements on my screen. And if we actually go into here, you know, then I've got, you know, my background image, maybe a background blur, and then another image, and that's just because I'm doing some weird layering effects there. I've got a size box, and then a couple of other UI elements here. Uh, but you can see, no canvas panels. Um, at the, you know, the innermost core, I've got a couple of, you know, UI um, widgets that are, like, built into this bigger widget, so I've got a couple of hierarchies going on there. Uh, but none of them have additional canvas panels, and that's because I built them with the idea of being they're going to be inside of a canvas panel, but they themselves don't need to be a canvas panel. And so if we go and look you know, at some of these other elements, so if we go here, another one using just a size box and then a common board. And um, what this basically you know, sort of boils down to is use canvas panels as sparingly as possible. Um, keep them contained in such a way that you are only really using them once. Um, you know, I haven't found at least a situation where I need more than just the one canvas panel. In fact, even even here in this example I'm giving you, I might be able to get away without a canvas panel. Um, I like to have it because there's a lot of tools it gives me as a UI developer um, that I can sort of use to, to really leverage my UI. But there are situations where you may want a UI element that you don't need a canvas panel for. And so of sort of those situations, um, you basically throw it out. Um, it's overused way too often in tutorials, um, mostly just because it's sort of a, a, a base layer that a lot of people put. Um, but as you're learning more about UMG and about common UI, um, I think you come to find that things like overlays are going to be a lot more performant and a lot more extendable over the life of your UI. But yeah, um, so that's it for today. Just wanted to give a little talk on... Um, overlays and chaos panels and all that. So if anyone has any questions, definitely leave them down below. But otherwise, good luck. Good hunting.